chapter 6 moves away from all the normal processes and we're now going into geometry again. So in this chapter, it's about triangles. So the first lesson deals with area of triangles. Okay, so we should know that the area of a triangle is one half times base times height. Okay, so um, this is in addition to the formulas that we learned in grade 4, which are area of a rectangle and area of a square. Okay, so we need to remember that if we drew a triangle such as this, okay, not always will be the height be inside the triangle. So example, if this is a side, the height is there. Okay, but if this is the side, the height is actually outside of the triangle. Okay, so again, the height has to be perpendicular to the base. And the misconception of many is the height has to be inside the triangle, does not have to be. So the height could be outside of a triangle, but the base has to be one side of the triangle. Okay, so which means um, for the discussions here, the assumption is the kids are allowed to use their calc so I will not show computations anymore. So our problems will come from pages 108 and 109. So for these problems, the first asks to find the area of the shaded region. And this is the shaded region. So the shaded is a triangle. So if we write the area, one half times base times height, I can use this side and that would mean that this would be the height. Now remember, if this is a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So that's what those markings are for. Indicates that those are equal sides. Okay, so which means my, my base would be this which is technically the 20 plus the 18. So I'll put it in parentheses, 20 plus 18. Okay, and my height would be this. That would be 25. So which means this will be 1 half times 38 times 25. So again, assuming that the kids are allowed to use their calc if you put those numbers in your calculator, you should get 475. And since the unit of measurement is in centimeters and this is an area, then that means that will be centimeters squared. Now, looking at letter F, the shaded portion is this. Now, we need to, again, distinguish which one would be the base and which one will be the height. So if we look at this, this will be the base, the 12. And this will be the height of the base. So as I explained earlier, it doesn't need the height, does not have to be inside the triangle. But it has to be perpendicular to the base. So if I connect this line, that's the perpendicular. So which means if I put that again in the formula, 1 half times base, 12, times height 15 and we put it in the calculator that would give us 90 and again the unit of measurement sorry the unit of measurements for all of these are in meters I copied it wrong but let's just correct meters so which means since those are in meters this will be meters squared if we look at the next problem on page 109 it says in the figure, RQ, RQ is 26 centimeters. Then it says RS is 47 centimeters. And then it says that PS is 26 centimeters, which is evidenced with a equal, 26 and 26. 
And then it says find the area of triangle PQR. So the formula is still 1 half times base times height. And in this case, the base would be 26. And the height also will be 26. So 1 half times 26 times 26. Putting it in our calculator, we should get 300 and 38 since the unit of measurement is in centimeters our final answer should have centimeters squared so again parents and kids it's not very hard as long as you're able to identify the base then you look for its corresponding height and you always want to make sure that when you're finding anything using a formula write down the formula so you won't leave out anything. That concludes lesson one of chapter six. See you in the next lesson.